This is Conway's Game of Life, built in Microsoft Excel using VBA. I will spend two minutes explaining what Conway's Game of Life is and how it works, and then I'll go on to demoing this spreadsheet in full. In Conway's Game of Life, we have a population of cells. If a cell is coloured in black, this means it is alive, like so. Each cell has up to eight neighbours surrounding it, these eight here. Using the rules listed on the right, each generation sees cells either survive, die or be born. So let's take an example. If this was our original generation in our 3x3 three three world, we can go through each cell and look at these rules on the right and decide if they survive or not. So this first one has two neighbours and so by this rule it will survive. This one has, this one at the bottom left also has two neighbours so it also survives and this one here has three neighbours so also survives. This one in the middle has one, two, three, four neighbours and so by overpopulation it dies. And this one on the top right has only one neighbour. And so by underpopulation, it also dies. And now the empty cells may um, be able to be born by the reproduction rule. So this one has one, two, three, four neighbours. So it's already overpopulated, so it cannot be born. This one here only has two neighbours. And as we know, you can't reproduce with only two. And so that one also stays dead. The bottom right only has one neighbour, so it's not born. This one, however, has three neighbours. And as we all know, it takes three to reproduce, and therefore this one will be born. And so that means our next generation will look something like this. And then these rules are applied to each generation until it reaches... Um, a state where it repeats itself um, constantly or all cells have died out. The way the spreadsheet works is we have this universe here within this grey frame and here is where we will have our living cells and you can add cells by simply clicking in that frame. You can even add multiple at once or add and remove them at the same time. Basically any cell you select they will switch between being dead or alive. Once you've built your pattern, you can click run and see the generations play out. And you can click stop at any point to pause it, at which point you can add more to it and click run again, or you can add to it as it goes. And finally, you can click clear once you're done with it. You can also save states. So I've saved one from earlier. So if I click load, it loads that state. If I change it and click save, it will just save that state so I can load it up again later on. I actually made two versions of this spreadsheet. The one I've got up here is the first version and I want to show you the performance of it compared to what I've just been showing you. So if I hit run, you can see everything moves quite slowly and it's quite jolty in its movement. The second version, on screen now, runs a lot smoother and quicker. Both versions work in a very similar way, and that is that Sheet 1 is our game, and then there is a hidden sheet, Sheet 2, which will um, essentially figure out the next generation before replacing the existing one. And it is Sheet 2 which differs a lot. So in the first version, we have this grid, and what's happening is if I run my code, the VBA itself is going to do all the heavy lift, lifting, all the heavy lifting. So it's quite code heavy and it takes time to figure out. So this code here is actually going through every single cell and counting its neighbors and deciding whether it survives, dies, or is born. And it paints the next generation before copying it over to the original game.
Whereas the new version, version 2, uses formulas to calculate this. So here I have formulas which are counting for the corresponding cell in the game how many neighbours it has. So here the top left cell has one neighbour and the formula has just calculated that for us. And then this grid here is essentially taking the answers from above the number of neighbours and converting that into whether it should be dead or alive. Zero being dead, one being alive. And all these true and false statements on the right is just a way for me, uh, for the VBA code to check if there's any changes being made. If there's not, the code will stop running. So a lot of that VBA code that I was just running in the old version isn't used at all because the formulas just update automatically calculating the next generation for you. So all my VBA code does in this second version is copy and paste the new generation over the top of the old. And that's why it runs much smoother. If you would like a copy of this spreadsheet, please just drop me an email. I'll leave my email in the description and I will be more than happy to send you a copy. I'll leave you now with some populations of cells living through their generations and eventually dying.